Oh hey, didn't see you there. I'm Asan Piker and this is Bro Tip. Good news guys, Twitch is crumbling. I'm excited. I I I just don't like Twitch. But there's been a lot going on recently in the uh, the past little while that uh, I think is of note. You know, it's fairly noteworthy, so I did a little bit of a recap when, you know, the main bulk of the drama hit, but it's just been continuing to pile up and pile up and pile up, and it's frankly just a fucking shit show. So I thought that maybe we would discuss it again. You know, I gotta get my, my views and whatnot, so here we go. Of course, you know, I'm gonna be behind this, this microphone, this massive fucking pop filter, because I gotta hide my, my hideous malformed chin, as you know, as a commentary YouTuber. Uh, I have that. There's absolutely no bone structure in my lower jaw. There is just uh, a little bit of muscle, some f some uh, cartilage, and uh, teeth. That that's all there is. My tongue is supporting the entire lower part of my face, as as you can tell, because I'm hiding it behind my microphone. You know, the more I look into this topic and the more things happen, you know, the less I care. Like, I'm pretty sure we've just accepted the fact that Twitch is a dying platform and it's going to continue to crumble and die and um, it will go on without a legacy. And no one will give a shit about it, similar to most of the children born in my generation. Now, you may be wondering, if I don't care about this platform dying, then why am I making a video on it? Well, two things. One is the money, and two, the thing I do care about is watching it go down in a burning pile of flames, similar to the giant flying metal balloon that was named after an iconic Breaking Bad character. So, sit down, relax, and join me as... Oh, fuck, let me... Notepad. Thank you. So, let's laugh at this together. The downfall of these Twitch streamers, their careers, and the platform itself. You know, most of the Twitch streamers are gonna be fine. Of course, Pokemon is gonna be fine. Um, no Twitch executive would ever, ever think to punish their queen. But yeah, it's no longer just the sexual assault victim. Uh, cause somebody did get cancelled for that. Uh, another person got cancelled for covering- uh, We'll get there, we'll get there. Starts out- Guy scams tons of people for around $300,000. Friends, family, other YouTubers, creators, his fans even. You know, just being like, oh, I need this money. I need it for paying my bills. And then he just go, went and gambled it, which resulted in a few people being like, oh, we need to ban gambling on Twitch. It's clearly not the scamming that's the issue here. It's, it's the gambling. So, uh, Twitch responded and actually banned gambling, which I think is fairly fucking stupid if you consider the fact that people that want to gamble are gonna gamble, and they promote plenty of adult content anyways, let's be honest. Except on that side, it usually just benefits the female streamers. You know, I think that they should have uh, really just put a, a dialogue box, maybe, on their website and just been like, this is an addictive thing. Why do we need to censor gambling? Like, from what I understand, it, a lot of these websites that the streamers promote are fairly difficult to, you know, get on to, and people are like, oh, but children can go and gamble, but it's like, oh, you gotta go set up a crypto wallet, you gotta make an account, you gotta get a VPN, and, dude, I, I tried to set up a crypto wallet, like, a, a week ago, and I couldn't, because my ID is expired. Yes, you need a valid ID, you need your social security number, and if you're in the United States at least. So it's like all these things and it's just like, do you really think a children, a child is going to be able to go to those lengths just to gamble their parents' money away? Yeah, it's, I don't know. Is it morally correct to promote gambling? No, of course not. But should you stop the streamers from gambling their money away? No, I, I don't, I don't see why. I may be retarded. And then because one of these gambling Twitch streamers got salty, he uh, called out one of the people that was calling out gambling and said, uh, dude, but you covered up sexual assault, like, way back when, and, uh, he did. <laughs> so, that was funny, and a bunch of people were in on it, and knew about it, like, XQC knew about it, and then there was this thing where Justin Minx, or Minx, laughed at it. He's like, haha, she's, she's just bullshitting, she's just a clout chaser. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how to feel about that entire situation, mainly because, uh, Minx was going a bit bonkers at the time, so, like, uh, she knew about it, so, yeah, she deserves criticism and whatnot, but, uh, I saw a few clips and she was just, like, absolutely losing her shit on stream, so, I'm like, you know, maybe I'm just gonna ignore this one and move on. Like, I've had times where I was in school where I, uh, laughed at some pretty fucked up shit and I got a lot of flack for it. Like, there was this girl, she was like, oh, uh, my grandpa just died. And I just burst out laughing. <laughs> 
uh, yeah, it's not a good thing to laugh at. I just gotta, you know, hold back that urge sometimes. You may be thinking, what the fuck, Ween? You're, you're a bad person. And, um, maybe, maybe that's the case. I thought so for a while, uh, but my therapist, when I had one for like a month, told me otherwise because I do have some, I do understand it, what it's like to have some, uh, some mental issues, and then, and then you laugh at some fucked shit, and, and, and people don't care, they're just like, wow, you're, uh, you're, you're a bad person, you're a psychopath, so, um, that situation was interesting, to say the least, and I sympathize somewhat with Minx, so, um, I don't know, she just needs to kind of get off the internet till she gets her shit together, and, yeah, she shouldn't have helped cover that up. I'm not saying it justifies anything that she did, right? But a lot of people are just choosing not to acknowledge the fact that she did, she was like laughing at this chick in the middle of a mental breakdown, so. Oh, or manic episode, my bad. Again, not an excuse, but I think it's good to look at the context. Oh, also, Ice Poseidon exposed old messages with slurs that Ms. Kiff said. Gee golly, who would have guessed? I, I guarantee it, your favorite YouTuber or streamer has said slurs before or they've done something that you wouldn't approve of so uh just get over it move on Ms. Kiff lies and says that he didn't know that his friend did this that information was then exposed as false pokemon is getting outed as a scumbag or something wow who would have fucking thought um also remember that chick that only got a seven day ban for getting getting railed on stream yeah uh she's back now oh and just now, apparently the guy who used covering up sexual assault as a gotcha, uh, Trainwrecks TV, who exposed Ms. Kiff for covering up sexual assault, uh, threatened to rape Alinity or some shit. You know, the chick that threw her cat on stream. Yeah. Dude, this whole thing is just, what the fuck? Is this, is this some sort of daytime TV show for housewives? Like, there's so much drama. And then, and then, Twitch is- Twitch is cutting their streamers pay. They're- they're cutting their pay. So, uh, Twitch L. Big Twitch L. Twitch is dying. Everybody's a hypocrite. Everybody's in the wrong. Everybody is digging up the dirt in their closet and exposing their best friend streamers and whatnot. It's just fucking... You gotta love it. I doubt that very many people, besides the ones that get their main source of income from this platform, are incredibly disappointed in this little progression. Um, Twitch, Twitch has been a punching bag for a very, very long time in the online space, so whoopee. In other news, YouTube is actually making, like, uh, progressions. They're, they're taking W's. They're taking a few W's. Like, now if they actually just, you know, give us uh, the rest of the tools that we want, as creators and need to actually be successful maybe maybe they might take over you know twitch and tiktok because it's now easier to get paid for doing shorts they're improving their algorithm a little bit they still really need to fix the fucking recommended page but um they say that they're going to allow us to use copyrighted music soon so that's a that's an absolute bonus so um I don't know. A lot of these videos that I've been making lately, uh, I do want to go back to better topics and not just worry about fucking drama. Like, I do like talking about drama, but a lot of the times it's just like, oh my god, we've seen this a million fucking times. So it's, it's really like, I don't know, uninteresting, boring, whatnot. Um, and oh i'm i'm bringing face cam content do you do you like seeing me here i know i'm gonna use my set eventually but i have a, a handheld dynamic xlr microphone coming that got delayed because of a fucking hurricane i've got lighting coming and uh i'm not gonna use that because the audio is shit when i try to use this microphone and like set it up over there out of frame and i'm not gonna there's just all these factors so i decided you know why not just stick the webcam on top of my monitor and do a classic face cam commentary It'd be like that sometimes, though. Um, if you like this video, feel free to hit the subscribe button. Uh, pay for my crack addiction by by joining this channel. I will be using your money for crack. I, I love crack so much. And today's and today's video is brought to you by. Your name is John Carver. You've been in a coma for six months. Please wake up. This is your wife, Abigail. We really miss you.
and he's been growing up and she she still wonders where you're at she she's not doing too great in her classes either they say they might have to move her into special ed but <laughs> we have hope john please please wake up we can't afford this they're going to have to they're going to have to let you go if you don't if you don't come out soon please i don't know if you can hear me in there john but <laughs> please also, my second channel is linked down below if you like videos like this and want to see more of it. Thanks for coming by and allowing me to waste your time. Until next time, fellas. Uh, see ya. This is not a bro fist. This is domestic abuse.